Lakefront Arena, New Orleans, Louisiana, where the Privateers lead the Houston Baptist Huskies 29-28. Chris Mykoski on the ESPN3 Halftime Report. One week ago today, I was in Frisco, Texas, along with 20,000 of my closest friends for the FCS Championship game. Now, a lot of you watched the action on ESPN2 as North Dakota State took out Jacksonville State and the Bison claiming their fifth straight national championship. What you didn't see was everything that happened in the week leading up to it, starting with a game that included some very special children from the Frisco area. Live in Thibodeau, Louisiana, USA, the Colonels lead the Bears 41 to 36. Chris Mykoski, courtside at Stouffer Gym, coming up on the ESPN Halftime Report. We will explore this connection between the Nichols basketball program and the countries of Australia and New Zealand, now a well-established pipeline to here in Colonel Country. We'll also recognize a pair of outstanding student athletes. There are classroom champions and, of course, first half highlights and stats. Now back to a couple of guys who are much more likely to down a king cake than a Vegemite sandwich, Victor and Lynn. <laughs> no doubt about that. Welcome back to Stouffer Gym in Thibodeau, Louisiana. A scoring change, a Central Arkansas three-pointer has been changed to a two by the officials. So Nichols now leads 47-42 at the break. Chris Mykoski inside Stouffer Gymnasium. And we've been talking about it during the entire broadcast, this amazing pipeline between Nichols basketball and Australia and New Zealand. It's something J.P. Piper has been working on throughout his entire time here in Colonel Country. A lot of his recruiting is emails and phone calls. He has made two trips over to the Oceanic region, but really what this continued success is predicated upon is trust. Here's Bryant Johnson. Well, over the years, there have been many Australian basketball players come to Nichols, but here's a list of uh, other student athletes from Australia participating in other sports beside basketball. You see it there. Perhaps some familiar names to you viewers in Australia and New Zealand. We hope so. And this is the group from New Zealand. There are three participating right now. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Chris Mykoski. Chris? Lynn, thanks very much. Here with a pair of the student athletes from the Oceanic region, Jess Coates, women's soccer player from Sydney, Australia, and Jackson Stent, newly arrived men's basketball player from Christchurch, New Zealand. And as we get back to action, we will talk to Jess a little bit. And Jess, what's been the biggest adjustment coming from Sydney to Thibodeau? Um, the weather and the culture has been a huge difference. Uh, Louisiana's like nowhere I've ever seen before in the world. It's it's crazy, but it's a lot of fun. How did you end up here? What was the process like to get you as a recruit to arrive here at Nickel State? Uh, well, actually, it was uh, different to a lot of uh, other people that I know. Um, my coach at home, uh, Jeff Stammer, he had a friend who was friends with my coach now. So it was just kind of like a friend for a friend, send in a video application whole thing. It is very early Sunday morning breakfast with some basketball. I assume you have some uh, friends and family tuning in from ESPN on Australia, so uh, we're glad they're here. And obviously, we want to continue the conversation with Jackson Stent, newly arrived here on the Nichols campus, won't be able to play until the 2016-17 season, but somebody that J.P. Piper is expecting to be a big, big contributor from Christchurch, and we talked about it a lot at halftime, Jackson. There have been so many basketball players from that region. How did you first learn about the Colonel program? Well, uh, Coach Amada, um, he messaged me on Facebook uh, during my recruiting process, and uh, I was talking with Coach Piper over the phone and all that, just, just hearing how Nichols' program is and yeah, what they're all about here just really was exciting. And I take it you're able to adjust a little bit easier with so many players from that region who are already here, as opposed to if you went to another school in the U.S. where maybe you were the first New Zealander on that team. Exactly, yeah, like having Zach Young, New Zealander, and a couple of Aussies, it's good to actually hear like familiar voices. The you know, accents over here are very different, so uh, it's good to hear some familiar sounds. All right, Jackson, appreciate it very much. Jackson and Jess, two of the many student athletes the Colonels claim from the Oceanic region, Lynn. Set for the Mid South Bank halftime report with Chris Mykoski. Chris? Hi, Lynn. We'll visit with Dr. Bruce Murphy, president 
here at Nichols State University. Now, we t in the first ball game, the men's game between the Bears and Colonels, that was on ESPN International. Well, Nichols has more of an international feel lately, especially after Dr. Murphy made a trip to Cuba recently. We'll also break down your first half highlights and stats and introduce you to a couple of great student athletes, our ESPN3 classroom champions, Lynn. Welcome back to the American Sports Network presentation of Southland Conference men's basketball. I'm Chris Mykoski, courtside at the Montaigne Center, all tied at 33. Coming up on the Mid-South Bank Halftime Report, we'll present the FCS Player of the Year Award from ASN to Kate Harrington, Lamar's superstar running back. Also, we'll hear from Jorge Andres in the studio with all your highlights and stats. And, of course, David and Van will get a set for second-half action here in Beaumont. David? Welcome back to the Mid-South Halftime Report. Live from Beaumont, Texas, Texas A&M Corpus Christi and Lamar tied at 39. I'm Chris Mykoski live at the Montaigne Center here on ASN where tonight we recognize one of the top student athletes ever to wear a Cardinal uniform. From Kingwood, Texas, Kate Harrington. There are several National Player of the Year awards. Now on Friday, the media and the sports information directors had their say. But when the American Sports Network asked the fans, they overwhelmingly said that Kate is the top player in FCS football. Two thousand ninety two rushing yards, twenty one rushing touchdowns, the national leader in both categories. The American Sports Network's Ed Grom here to present the trophy. Ed, thank you for being here. New Orleans, here's Chris Mykoski. Chris? Lynn, thanks very much. Coming up on the Mid-South Bank Halftime Report, I'll have a visit with Dr. Peter Foss, the outgoing president here at the University of New Orleans. We'll also introduce you to our classroom champions, a pair of outstanding student athletes, one from each of these two teams. And, of course, first half highlights and stats. That's all on the Mid-South Bank Halftime Report in about two minutes, Lynn. Welcome back to Lakefront Arena in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is the Mid-South Bank Halftime Report on ESPN3. Houston Baptist leads New Orleans 28 to 25. 23 bench points for New Orleans. Pretty incredible. Dr. Peter Foss is the outgoing president here at UNO. Just a couple of weeks left on the job. You've done very well for yourself here in these last four years. Why did you feel it was time to step away? I'm sure you don't remember this, but the first time we met, Galveston, Texas, Southland Conference meetings, you were there to present to the board of directors and hopefully get New Orleans into the Southland. Obviously, it's worked out very well for your athletics program. Actually, I do remember that. Absolutely. Derek's done an outstanding job, and you know there are plenty of coaches you can brag on that you're proud of. Let's concentrate on the two that we're going to see today in uh, Coach Davenport and Coach Schlesinger. They are obviously the right people for this university and they have everything moving forward and obviously people that you want to see here in these positions for a long time to come. Doctor, always good to see you. I know you're stepping away from the position, but we'll still see you on the sidelines and at the diamond everywhere that the privateers play sports. Dr. F Peter Foss is still going to be there supporting these teams. New Orleans trails HBU 28-25. This is the Mid-South Bank Halftime Report. 